You know, I do. If if and the only reason why is because the, the chatter has been around for a little bit, right? And he's it's, a clutch client. And he's a clutch client, yep. and I get the whole, you know, thing that they do at times with players uh, that they represent. He also maintains a residence here in Southern California. Not far from um, yours. And I understand what people think about defensive liability, have had turnovers in, in the past. People feel like you can't win with a small point guard as your best player. If he was to join the Lakers, I don't know that he's the best player. No, he's not. Okay, so, so that goes out the window. And he now becomes the third best player. Now, what are we giving up to go get him? Well, all of that sort of stuff is what has to factor into it. But you can't tell me that he ain't good at what he does when he's right. It just, it, it, it just is. It can you... Put him, and I don't know who the, would be on the Lakers roster or whatnot, but can you can can you put him with Anthony Davis and LeBron James and maximize his talent at the level that will help you win another championship? <clears throat> you you because we sit up here sometimes and act like when we have this conversation that we got guards that actually defend. They're like I'm serious. Do we, Skip? I think Austin tries hard. That's not what I asked you, though, right? But, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you say, well, you giving up something. What are we giving up? This ain't Drew Holiday for, for uh, uh, Dame Lillard. No. He's not, not, none of these dudes are going to play defense. They all going to be defensive liabilities. But he got some stuff that works in L.A. that the snack, crackle, pop, he kind of like a little version of a Steph Curry to a degree. And I get it. I understand. But I like him, man. And I always ask this question, and people... You know, basketball players look at me like I've got frogs on my face because I'll ask you the question. When the Luka situation came up with the trade for Trey Young and they swapped, at the end of the day, the Mavericks in the same spot they was in and so is Atlanta. The, both of these teams and players have advanced their teams to the Western and the Eastern Conference Finals. That's pretty... Neither one of them won MVP, neither one of them won championships, but many people will feel you can win... Uh, you get closer to winning a championship with Luka than you do Trey Young as the number one guy. And that may be true. Would you take Trey over Luca right here, right now? No, I would no, not. No, nobody. No, would. I wouldn't. Just no. size alone, I wouldn't. I mean, seven whole, inches different. But my whole yeah. point is, my whole <laughs> point on. though, Skip, is they both then landed two different teams, but they done landed in the same spot. They ain't brought me home yeah, nothing. We're, we're, this story that's is all about I'm saying. to be told in that, Dallas. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You got more wins in Dallas than they do yeah. in that, that, I mean, they, Atlanta. That. Atlanta. I understand. Atlanta, since they went to the conference finals, I haven't. They ha they haven't got any better. I mean, I look at their talent. I think they got a talented squad. I mean, you got Hunter, Capella, mm -hmm. uh, Bondanovich. Yeah. I mean, these guys are really good role players. But the ceiling of this team has and Dejounte, obviously, and DeJounte, obviously, right? obviously yeah. another All Star, yeah. another clutch guy. <laughs> uh, you know, so I just think you know on the Lakers. If you say, "Can I see him on the Lakers?" I don't see a good fit. Mm. That's I don't I don't, yeah, see I don't the, know what that fit. would be. I don't know what because it would be. Because Trey Young, he's averaged 25 and 11 for like what three straight years, I 20, believe. 26, and like, 11 assists. 25 and, and, and double figure assists for like three straight seasons, I believe. Nobody, you know, we don't, I don't know nobody who's done that in quite some time, or if anybody's done that. Um, it's just he needs the ball, is what I'm saying. When he, he does. You know, he's he's a, and, and we all know LeBron needs the ball. He needs a, LeBron needs a certain type of player around him to fit with him. You know, so in L.A., it just don't, it don't look right. It don't feel right. Uh, does he need a change of scenery? I believe he does. Uh, I'm just not sure where that is right now. And like I said before, and I said it many times, you can't win with the point guard being your best player, especially a small guard. It's only happened three or four times in NBA history. Magic Johnson. 6'9". Okay. Or just a point guard in general. Okay. Magic, Isaiah, Steph Curry, and, you know, I guess you can argue Chauncey Billups, you, you know, can, in you, Detroit. You, but, yeah. you know, you had Rip Hamilton. I mean, you could argue, you could argue AI, but AI was more But they didn't two, win a championship. And they didn't win the championship. Yeah, and so I'm not sure if there's a good fit for him, but I know it's not the Lakers. But see, I but, know, but, I know it's not but the Lakers. But you say, well, LeBron needs the ball... But we're still talking about a 40-year-old LeBron that is seemingly pushing back. But on he, hasn't, the ball. he hasn't changed his game. He hasn't changed his game. Now, 
if he did more of, all right, I need to be off the ball more and post it up more, so now I need a guard to bring it up, make plays for me, and, and, and be an assist guy so I can, like, get the ball in, in the spots where I only needed one or two dribbles to get to the basket, I get it. That makes more sense. But since LeBall, LeBron is going to be on the ball for the rest of his career, and he's not going to change for nobody, and you're going to have to adjust to that. And I just don't see a fit with Trey Young. Where did this come from anyway, though, Skip? The Laker uniform. What, what did it come from? Like, being in the Laker uniform next season. I thought it came from you. No, no, no. <laughs> it didn't come from me. They, they started this before the trade deadline. I'm sure it's a clutch story that somehow is out so there. So if it's a clutch story that's yeah. somehow out mm -hmm. there, then I would assume that King James is aware of this and knows that if this was to ever happen, he would have to change his game he or else would. he's going to fall into another bad situation as a GM. What was the biggest mistake LeBron ever made? Was Russell Westbrook. I knew Westbrook. he was going to say that. Well, it just is. Yeah. And there's a lot of Russell Westbrook operating in Trey Young. In Trey, by the way, Trey is, he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's fun to be around. So that's never an taller issue. Taller than what I thought. You think so? Yeah, taller than what I, I thought he was. I thought he was way shorter. I, I, he might be six feet, but he's not over six feet tall. I'm just saying he was taller yeah. than what I thought. Okay. He's been six years in this league now. He has led the NBA in total turnovers over those six years by far. He's 100 more than Luka has over the last six years that he has been mm. in this league. That's a lot of turnovers. It's almost 2,000. or No, I'm sorry. It's 1,696, but it's 100 more than Luka. And he has played in... Well, I bet to his credit, he probably is a two-to-one turnover ratio out to his yeah. credit. I bet that. Okay, but... He's a very good passer, but he's a flashy passer because he tries, because Atlanta sells him as their box office because they couldn't draw until they got him. And he became, to your point, a big box office yeah. draw in yeah. Atlanta because he's fun to watch and the kids love him because they can identify, they can relate the way they do to Steph. Because he's right. little and you can say, I can do that. I can, I can yeah. play like that. But he'll try passes that are just crazy. And last night, DeJounte's body language was telling me that he was just getting sick and tired of watching that mess in the first quarter because that's five turnovers. It's just hard to, <laughs> to stomach. So here's, in 31 playoff games that he has played, counting the play-in games, he has shot 29% from three. So he's been cold, a cold three-point shooter in the playoff games. And, and if you'll allow me to cherry pick just a couple. So remember the classic <laughs> game seven, it became the Ben Simmons game when Ben wouldn't shoot the, the yeah. or he wouldn't dunk it or whatever he didn't do. But in that game, Trey was, that was game seven at Philly. He went yeah. five of 23, two of 11 from three with six turnovers. And then remember the Heat series in 2022, it was a five-gamer in the first round, but oh, yeah, they, they got nice. knocked out in five games. And, and in that, he shot seven of 38 from three. That's 18% from three in the five games against the Heat. So in that series, he had 31 turnovers to 30 assists. So that was upside down on your turnover yeah. ratio. Yeah. So my point is that that's pretty much who he is. He's fun to watch, and he is a gifted passer, but LeBron's a better passer. He just yeah. is. LeBron's still, to me, the best passer in basketball. And I want LeBron to initiate the offense for most of the game. Maybe down the stretch, you start to share the ball more and you get Austin and D'Lo involved if you're going to try to close the game against Denver. But for the most part, for about three and a half quarters, I need LeBron initiating and orchestrating my offense. Yeah, but, it, but, but you got to think about it this way, though, Skip. If for some reason the Lakers go home early, which Paul think they are, this ain't gonna be the same yeah, roster gotta, gotta, next gotta, year. They're not gonna run it back. Two weeks left. Yeah, that's two, early. Yeah, two weeks left. Okay. Two weeks left in the season. Yeah, they, okay. They're gonna, so they gonna certainly look to do something right, to the so, roster. So Trey's got two years left on a pretty big deal. He's gonna make forty three next year and forty six two years from now. Okay, so do you want to take on that much money and give up? I don't. What would they take? But would, would they take D'Lo, maybe D'Lo and Austin Reeves? I don't know. Would they take the two for one? I have no idea what they that, would do. That doesn't help the Lakers. So explore somewhere else. I know Trey may be available based on what we see, but that's not the move. Okay, I they, just they, they might, all they, I'm doing, man, is report what's yeah, out there. I ain't yeah, make the news. That, I'm that just reporting the, the news. That that's all. That, that's not the move. That's not the good fit for the Lakers. So, mm. I mean, you can dream and, and you think that you're getting you're getting an All Star player, but sometimes less is more. Yeah, especially and, and for the Keyshawn, Lakers. 
you are the one team in the league that does not need more box office. You, you got plenty of box office, I, right? I'm just saying, you know, the Lakers like to do things in the offseason. They do, but but you enjoy watching him operate. Yeah, right? I have you no do. problem about yeah. it. Yeah, he turns yeah. the ball over. He does. But I also look at a lot of other players that turn the ball over in the league that are box office that do some Le amazing Le things. Le Le LeBron turns the ball over, but he not like you this. Know? And that well, may uh, and that may be the case, but you also are asking him to be your number one guy, so to speak. And you Atlanta. go to a certain team, you're not the number one guy. Nope. You're now a two or three, you know, and, and so maybe that role fits you even better as a player if you're more than a two or the three opposed to the main guy. Yeah, no, I understand. But when I watch the Hawks play, DeJounte is just more valuable. He just yeah. He's 6'5", and, and he can defend a little bit better than Trey. Yeah, but you may feel that way, but the Hawks may not feel that way. No, I mean, I think he's a more prototype guard because I think the, the days of the assist guard are gone. I mean... Just think about it. You know, there were, there were days where the assist guard, Chris Paul, Rondo, the John Stocktons, where you needed those guys. Now you don't need your point guard to be a high assist guy. He can be a, a knockdown shooter uh, from three. Uh, he's good at getting to the lane and finding people when they open and finishing. I think that's all you need from your point guard. I mean, think about the point guards who've won the championships over the last few years. None of them average 10 assists. Yeah. And then no, they don't. He, he sets no tone defensively, which is why, as we keep bringing up, Kobe White goes for a career-high 42 last night. You don't think it had something to do with Trey Young? Because yeah. it has a lot to do with Trey Young. Because everybody eats against the Hawks. Everybody. Right? Luka, 73. Yeah. yeah. Steph, 60. <laughs> I mean, something's got to give. <laughs> something's got to give. And they, they have one of the more talented rosters, this, which is, this is surprising to me because top to bottom, they starting five is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, so if they can't get it done to where they're not in the playoffs with this roster, then I think there needs to be a shakeup. And if you're willing to deal Trey Young, if it will make you better, which I think it may m let them be better. I agree. Because you have DeJounte Murray, and he's shown that he can have really big games like he did versus the Celtics. He had 44. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> versus the Celtics. Uh, I think it's something you got to explore. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I think he probably would welcome a, a move he somewhere. Would. Yep. Because mm -hmm. right now, he has the weight of that franchise on his little shoulders. He yeah. does. He does. Yeah. And, and it's a big burden, man. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.